Evening folks, hope everyone is well. This is a Korg NTS2 uh, video and following up my previous video. So the last one was a bit chaotic as I was kind of just exploring it and trying to do interesting things with my little modular rig. Um, similar vibe for this video, hopefully it's a bit less chaotic. Um, I've tried to go for a much simpler doorless setup. Um, you can just see behind me, I've got the, um, the Neutron set up there. The lovely neutron and can you see that there's a yeah you can just see the edge of it a um korg monologue which is going to um do my sequencing for me and we're going to explore some of the lfo functions from the korg nts2 uh going into the lovely patch bay of the neutron and just starting to mess around with some of the sounds um that's what's on the agenda tonight um hope you stick around watch the video um top tip with the korg nts2 because this you know you snap this together and build it if you get yourself some thousand grit sandpaper from your local hardware shop and just go over these edges you can get these edges all nice and smooth now and this is much nicer hand you know sort of feel in the hand it feels like a proper bit of kit now um that's my top tip uh, for this video all right let's go So following on from the previous video with the NTS2, I want to do something a bit simpler. So we have a sort of doorless setup going on here. I'm um, using the Korg monologue as basically a sequencer into the Neutron and that's just connected via MIDI. So we can hear that. Ooh. So what I am going to do with the channel output one, and I'll just move the NTS one up here so we can see that. Um, channel one is this brown cable that's putting out a triangle LFO at a 101 Hertz. Um, and that's in push mode, but we can change that to be constant constant there we go um, and then that triangle LFO is coming into the LFO shape on the neutron so I'll just put the put the camera down again so what we can have is if, if we start that going we have a very nice visual feedback of the neutron of the LFO changing the shape of the LFO of the neutron. So LFOs affecting LFOs. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And then the second channel, which is this white cable here, that's a sine wave LFO set to a 101 hertz um, again. Oh, let's just take the camera. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And we're going to set that to not to push but to, to constant. And that white cable is coming into the shape of oscillator number two. So if we start that going, what we see is the shape of oscillator two starting to go crazy. So let's just stop that. So really really simple use case um what does that sound like right let's start the sequencing off let's start changing the lfo shape and you know we can adjust the rate of the lfo with the depth and And then we can go over to output two and we can start that, <laughs> that LFO going as well. So we can have the oscillator mix all the craziness. Oscillator one, just, just stable. And then an interesting mix of the two effects. And we can put a bit of reverb in. And 
that works super nice. Stop both of those. And we Cool. So what we're doing now... We have a uh, new ARP going. Uh, oscillator 1, we've set to a square wave. And channel 1, um, we've got a sawtooth rising LFO going to pulse width 1. So let's start that playing. Just watch my levels, because <laughs> the square wave is a bit louder. And let's put the LFO going and then we get this glorious sound lovely stuff I'm driving the overdrive as well quite hard again I'm just watching my audio levels here oh, and obviously we can use the oscillator mix to just come back to well, we can we can set oscillator two to anything, you know, to sort of even out that craziness. Okay, now with the channel one, what we got going on there, the brown cable. This is now set to output white noise. Um, so this is coming into the patch bay. Let's just let's just give you a quick. You know, quick, quick close up. Let's just hit the cam still recording. There we go. So that's my LFO, sawtooth LFO, that's affecting the pulse width of oscillator one. And then we got noise coming out of us, coming out of uh, output one. Again, this brown cable. Now this is coming into my attenuator on the neutron. Let's pop the camera down. Um, so it's coming into the attenuator. Then the output of attenuator one is going to oscillator two, just the the volts per octave. So I'm going to start. Well, let's just start, let's just hear oscillator 2 on its own using the oscillator mix control. Nice triangle wave, check the levels, looks good. Let's, let's start, bring the noise, bring the noise. Now, because it's into attenuator 1, we can then start to dial in the amount of craziness. So it's just obviously the noise is just coming in and being interpreted as just random voltage, right? And then it just gets noisier and noisier as we dial in the attenuator. And obviously, um, I can then mix that. I can then start my LFO, which is going to affect oscillator one, and have that craziness going on. Um, and then, so we can dynamically start mixing these two sounds together. Craziness, noisy craziness. I'm just watching the audio levels. Let's take, let's take the drive up. Bit of reverb for good measure. Boom. <laughs> lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Now, just to finish off, if we have that chaos and mayhem going on again. Let's remind ourselves. <laughs> That's crazy sound. Let's remind ourselves that this is also an oscilloscope. So in theory, we can here yeah, we can go to scope. And here I'm just taking the output of the neutron back into the NTS2. So we can see the sort of mayhem that we're causing from the NTS2. Um, you know, visualized back on the back on the NTS2. Da, 
that lovely sort of pulse width modulated square wave all the way over to chaos and mayhem of the noise. So again using the attenuator and then starting to dial in that white noise. You can see, we can see on the oscilloscope starts to go into crazy town. What is that? Very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool. I like it, I like it. All right, let's wrap the video up. Thanks for hanging out. Um, obviously, this video we've been playing with the Neutron. Um, we've been sending MIDI to it from the Korg monologue. Um, actually works really well, right? Using the Korg monologue just as just as an sort of arpeggiator sequencer. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like the fact also it's like a really simple doorless setup. Um, tomorrow's Friday night. I'll try and do another Friday night jam. That might be a thing. Might be a thing, mightn't it? That might be a thing. Um, might be a very similar setup. Might get the NTS2 involved. I uh, haven't decided yet. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. See you in the next one. Ta-ra!